Dear friends, it's a pleasure to address this joint session of the Technology Executive Committee, the Tech, and the Climate Technology Center and Network, CTCN. These two bodies that make up the technology mechanism were born at COP16 in Cancun, a COP I certainly remember well, as it was my introduction to the formal climate change discussions. In many ways, we have grown together and we've made significant progress in the intervening years. The parties now more fully recognize the key role of the technology mechanism, and I know members have, in turn, worked hard to respond to country needs on climate technology. The Glasgow Climate Pact re-emphasized those efforts, calling upon parties to accelerate the development, deployment, and dissemination of technologies and to transition towards low emission energy systems. The pact also emphasized the importance of cooperative action to accelerate and enable innovation and the importance of providing predictable, sustainable and adequate funding to technology mechanism itself. We appreciate the parties, organization and donors that have provided financial resources to the tech and the CTCN and supported the effective implementation of their current work. But just like every part of the climate regime, we need more climate action and we need it as rapidly as possible from all sectors of society. Developing and supporting cleaner and greener technologies is an essential component of that work. The technology mechanism plays a key role. We know this from the past work and current demand. For example, the tech has analyzed climate technology issues and identified policies to accelerate the uptake of technologies in several different areas. These include everything from renewable energy, energy efficiency, agriculture and coastal zones to, most recently, emerging technologies, technology innovation and the technology needs assessment. For its part, the T CTCN has received more than 300 requests for technical assistance, engaged with more than 100 developing countries and connected with more than 600 technology partners. This clearly shows that demand for its services continues to increase rapidly and we have every expectation this will continue. I also note that the CTCN has undertaken efforts to mobilize additional financial resources, including through its collaboration with the Green Climate Fund. I thank both UNEP and UNIDO for their partnership in supporting the operationalization of the CTCN. This collaboration has been extremely valuable. Both the TEC and CTCN also worked together in Glasgow in another important way, by launching a joint publication on the role of technology for NDC implementation. It includes recommendations on how to stimulate the uptake of climate technologies to accelerate parties' efforts towards achieving their NDC targets. In a year when we continue to call upon parties to provide more ambitious plans, your work is very much welcomed and needed. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you have important discussions ahead and I will let you go to that work. On behalf of UN Climate Change and many others, I not only congratulate you for your work, but also your efforts in facilitating and engaging stakeholders to undertake their work. This is such a key part of what you do, what the Paris Agreement is about, and how we must move forward in the future. 
Inclusive multilateralism is the only way we can address our climate goals. I encourage you to continue working to support parties on technology and stressing the need for them to enhance their climate action. In turn, UN Climate Change will continue to do its part to support your work, the technology mechanism itself, and as we move forward to build a cleaner, greener, and more climate-resilient future. Thank you.